Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 3 to the power 4th root of 10 and 2 to the power cube root of 20. Uh, we're going to determine which number is larger. So, in order to be able to find out, obviously you can use a calculator and you can raise 3 to the power that and 2 to the power that, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're going to be using a lot of manipulations, you know, looking at powers of numbers to compare these two numbers. So, I'm going to start by looking at the fourth power of integers, because that's what I'm going to use to estimate the fourth root of 10, without using a calculator, of course. So, let me go ahead and make a list of uh, the fourth powers and the third powers. So I have 1 to the 4th power is 1, 2 to the 4th is 16, 3 to the 4th is 81, 4 to the 4th power is 256, 5 to the 4th power is 625, as you know it's like 5 squared squared, 6 to the 4th power is just going to be 36 squared, which is 1296, 7 to the 4th power is going to be 2401, and then 8 to the power 4 is basically the same thing as 2 to the power 12, which is 4000. 96. Great. So these are the fourth powers. And then let me list the cubes. Uh, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to look for. The cubes are going to go like this. One cubed is one. It's probably going to be a little easier to figure out. Two to the cube. Two to the third power is eight. Three to the third power is 27. Four to the third power is 64. Five to the third power is 125. Six to the third power is 216. 7 to the 3rd power is 343, kind of, you know, if you've dealt with numbers a lot, you, uh, you can memorize these easily, not too hard, but you don't have to. Anyways, 9 cubed is 729, 10 cubed is obviously 1000, and 11 cubed is 1301. Okay, for my purposes, this list should be good enough, and then we can kind of start looking at these. Now, here's my goal. Uh, since I am dealing with something like the fourth root of 10, I'm going to be looking for uh, two fourth powers that are somewhat in the 1 to 10 ratio. That is basically my goal here. So, I'm kind of looking for two numbers that are close to 1 to 10 ratio. And I find out that 256 and 2401 are pretty close. You know, if you multiply 256 by 10, you get... 2560, which is pretty close to 7 to the 4th power. For our purposes, that's close enough. Okay, so that is my first purpose, looking for two numbers that are somewhat in the ratio of 1 to 10. Okay, so it's kind of like 1 to 10 ratio. Okay, because I do have the 4th uh, root of 10. So let me go ahead and, uh, you know, just work it out, and then I'll go back to the cubes and pretty much do the same thing. Okay, so now we know that 2560, which is um, 256, 256 times 10, is greater than 2401. Now, my goal was to find, you know, the two fourth powers in the ratio of 1 to 10. So now I can write this as 256 times 10, obviously, which is 4 to the fourth power times 10. And that is going to be greater than, as you can see here, uh, 7 to the fourth power. Now, Hopefully you already figured out what I'm about to do. I'm going to isolate the 10 here and then write this as 7 over 4 to the 4th power, obviously. So you can write it as 7 to the 4th divided by 4 to the 4th. And now if you take the 4th root of both sides, this is going to give you a nice approximation for the 4th root of 10. So we basically, from here we're getting that the 4th root of 10 is greater than 7 fourths. Yes, it is greater, but it's also somewhat close. 7 fourths is, uh, let's see, 1.75, so the fourth root of 10 should be greater than that. 1.75 something or maybe 1.76 something. Anyways, whatever, we know that it's greater. So that's one of the inequalities we're going to use, but guess what? We have that number in the exponent, right? So it's 3 to the power something. So here's what I'd like to do. I want to write this as 3 to the power 4th root of 10. Since 4th root of 10 is greater than 7 fourths, if I raise like 3 to the power both sides, then I get the following inequality. 3 to the power 4th uh, root of 10 is greater than 3 to the power 7 fourths. So my goal was to, you know, write this exponential as uh, a number with a fractional exponent. Okay, so that was my uh, first goal. 
So we did it with the fourth power. Let's go ahead and do it with the cubes now. So I have the cube root of 20. So that tells me that I'm looking for two numbers in the ratio uh, on this list, of course, in the ratio of roughly 1 to 20. And if you look at this list very carefully, you're going to notice that these two numbers are good candidates. And that's why I went all the way up to 11, because I needed that number. And you're going to notice that if I multiply 64 times 20, I get 1,280. Uh, well, it's pretty close, right? OK, not bad. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, let's go ahead and write this down. So we know that 1,280 is less than, in this case, it's less than, not greater. And I also need them on opposite sides because I'm going to use that uh, as my reference point. Anyways, so you know the process. This is my number. I want to write it as, well, where does that number come from? 1,280 is 64 times 20. And 64 can be written as, you know, 4 cubed. So I can write this number as 4 to the third power times 20 is less than 11 cubed. And then isolating the 20, I get the following as before. And from here, we can safely say that the cube root of 20 is less than 11 fourths. So I got another approximation for my cube root. And I got the fourth root. And obviously, well, that wasn't what I was going to actually uh, circle. So let's go ahead and, you know, just do 2 to the power of that. And 2 to the power cube root of 20 is just going to give me 2 less than, is going to be less than 2 to the power 11 fourths. And that is the second inequality I would like to get. Now, I have two inequalities, this one and that one. And now the question is, how am I going to put these together, right? I need to be able to compare these two numbers. And the numbers that I'm supposed to compare uh, is, are this one and this one. So how could I put these together? That means that I need to find the relationship between powers of 2 and powers of 3. That is my next step. I apologize for the lengthy video because this is a lot of uh, processes that we have to go through. But now is the time to look at powers of 2 and powers of 3. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at powers of 2. You probably know this uh, list and I don't really have to go all the way. But let me just uh, fast forward and go to 2 to the power 8, which is 256. 2 to the 9th is 512. 2 to the 10th is 1024, and 2 to the power 11 is 2048. I'm going to be looking at powers of 3 now. 3 to the 1st is 3. Fast forward, 3 to the 4th power is 81. You know, I don't have to, you know, you know the powers of the smaller powers are easy. 3 to the 6th power is 729, and 3 to the 7th power is 2187. Now, my goal is to find two numbers that are close. Because I want to be able to compare a power of 2 with a power of 3. And you can kind of tell which powers I'm supposed to be using. But anyways, this list also confirms that. Notice that 2 to the 11th and 3 to the 7th are eh, pretty close. Not bad, huh? So we can safely say that from here, you know, 3 to the 7th power is greater than 2 to the 11th power. But notice that we have 11 fourths and 7 fourths. So why don't we just... Raise both sides to the power 1 fourth or the, take the fourth root of both sides. This gives us 3 to the power 7 fourths is greater than 2 to the power 11 fourths. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Now we can safely say that 3 to the power 4th root of 10, and we had that before, remember, is greater than 3 to the power 7 fourths. And we now know that 3 to the 7 fourths is greater than 2 to the power 11 fourths. And we know that 2 to the power 11 fourths is greater than because that's the lesser side, remember, or the greater side. That's why I needed opposite sides is 2 to the 11 fourth is greater than 2 to the power cube root of 20. And using the transitive property, this gives us that 3 to the power fourth root of 10 is greater than 2 to the power cube root of 10. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.